Legal battles are likely on the horizon for a new block grant program, and a New York nursing home find the maximum for understaffing as lawmakers call for action. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Trump administration may soon have to prepare for a legal battle following its announcement of an optional Medicaid block grant program for states. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services released guidance on its new Healthy Adult Opportunity Program last week, which allows participating states to receive a lump sum for its Medicaid program for adults under the age of 65 who don't have disabilities and aren't eligible under a state plan. The federal government should expect a pretty quick litigation response with guidance released Boston University's law professor Nicole Hubberfield said. Legal challenges around the program include questions on whether the amount of funding states receive through a Medicaid waiver can be changed if it fills Medicaid's purpose of providing care for poor people. The announcement has several provider groups, including long-term care advocates, concerned. Leading Age warned that the new program would, quote, only make it harder for providers to receive proper funding. A persistently low-rated Buffalo nursing home has been fined $7,000 by the state after it was cited for failing to have sufficient staff on duty and other violations. The state health department in November fined Sapphire Rehabilitation of South Towns, a facility with about 110 residents, the maximum allowed because understaffing has been a recurring problem. The health department cited 26 nursing homes in New York for insufficient staffing in 2019. But the agency has come under pressure for allowing nursing homes to operate without enough nurses. Last year, state lawmakers considered legislation backed by unions representing nursing home workers that would have set for the first time minimum staffing levels for each of the state's more than 600 nursing homes. At present, nursing homes are required only to have, quote, sufficient staffing levels with no specified ratios. The nursing home industry balked, saying the proposed law would cost $1 billion. Instead of voting on the safe staffing bill, the state legislator directed the health department in 2019 to conduct a study on safe staffing. The health department was told to report its findings back to the legislature by December 31st, but it is yet to do so. Assemblyman Richard Godfrey, the Democrat from Manhattan, predicted the problem could become even worse, with the state facing a $6.1 billion budget deficit and, Andrew, and Governor Andrew Cuomo making noise about the need to cut the state's rising Medicaid bill. Medicaid pays the bills for about 75% of New York's nursing home residents. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.